This is STS News with Chris Black. Thank you, Dan. Today we have results of a new study that was taken on the combustion of different compounds in the enthalpy of those compounds. First, an environmental report with Stephen Larson. Well, environmentally, out of the five compounds that we combusted, solid carbon, methane, ethane, propane, butane, and hydrogen, um, we made a graph and that shows the amount of moles of carbon dioxide produced and the amount of kilojoules produced per one mole of the uh, compound we combusted. As you can see by the graph, the more carbon atoms that are in the uh, compound, the more energy produced along with the more uh, amounts of carbon dioxide that are produced. This connects environmentally to our SDS issue because um, carbon dioxide destroys the environment and it uh, is bad due to the greenhouse effect. Global one. Next with how this will affect your daily life, let's go to our field reporter Alex in Walking with Alex Louder. Another STS issue that we can look at is the technological issue. Our first fuel is carbon, and as you can see here, carbon, um, one of its big technological uses is in trains. And as you can see, when it's used for trains, it gives off a lot of carbon dioxide. Um, our next one is methane, and methane's uh, technological use is one of its big ones is heating homes and keeping you nice and warm at night next to your nice fireplace. Uh, our next one is ethane. Ethane isn't really used for anything directly, but it's mostly used for boosting reaction. Um, it's a catalyst, so it boosts reactions for things like ethylene and stuff like that. Our next one is propane. And propane is used for uh, barbecues, and uh, we've all used barbecues, and what would we do without barbecues? Um, next one is butane, butane lighters, um, so that this guy can enjoy his nice Cuban cigar, and that's a very important technological use to some people. Uh, last but not least is our hydrogen fuel. Hydrogen fuel. Um, is becoming more and more popular, popular thanks to our uh, nice friend Al Gore and his inconvenient truth. Um, this hydrogen fuel is uh, used to power more and more cars nowadays and its technological uses are just going to continue to grow. So yeah, there's the technical technological uses. Ha! Hydrogen cars. When will they learn? Well, Mr. Stefan Dion today proposed a new tax today. It's called carbon tax. Basically, it's the taxation of things that release carbon dioxide into the environment. That's good, of course, for the environment, but really, who cares about that? This is just another way for the liberals to take Alberta's hard-earned resource money, tax it to death, and then give it to the feds to give to our friends in Quebec. Somehow, the liberals hope that this will gain, gain some voters, but it's not going to in Alberta, because we already are very conservative, and this is just going to make it worse. Dion is grabbing his straws to make his miserable party stay alive. Well, Dion, my hat's off to you, but I'm not wearing one. Now let's look at money with Jesse Dow in the Dow Report. Yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of these common fuels. Carbon, methane, ethane, propane, butane, and hydrogen. As you can see, some of them are significantly more expensive than the others. Carbon only costs 6 cents per kilogram. Methane, 2.5 cents per liter. Ethane. 3.5 dollars per liter, propane 16 dollars per liter, butane 19 dollars per liter, and hydrogen about 7.5 dollars per liter. As you learned from our environmental report from Stephen, this is because of their energy output. Basically, the more you pay, the more energy you get. Stay tuned for the scientific side of things with Daniel Vogler after these short messages. Like Larson said, the more carbon atoms a molecule has, the more energy it produces. Here we have hydrogen, carbon, methane, ethane, propane, and butane. Hydrogen is the least efficient of all of them and it only produces 241.8 kilojoules for every mole of hydrogen. 
Butane, on the other hand, produces 2,657.3 kilojoules for every mole of butane. During the Dow report, Jesse told you that the more energy a molecule produces, the more expensive it is. Hydrogen is the least efficient and produces the lowest amount of energy of any of them and is the third most expensive. Why they say hydrogen is the way of the future, I don't know. Obviously hydrogen is the better uh, fuel source. How can you come to such a conclusion? No, no, it's not, obviously. Well, obviously methane is. You get the most bang for your buck with that. Hydrogen has the less environmental impact. It has almost no energy compared to the others. We just did a whole study, yes? And yes, and all of, us, all of us came to the same conclusion that methane is better. Except for you two. Except that hydrogen is the fuel of the future. Yeah, maybe it doesn't produce any carbon dioxide, but who cares? We can no longer live our lives not caring for the environment. Energy and money are more Although important. Although methane is the second lowest energy uh, carbon dioxide contributor, so I could see how it could be a useful fuel. But it is the cheapest. Okay, so have we come to a conclusion that I methane think we is better to a vote? Very well. All right. What's your What's your consensus? I'm gonna vote methane just because you know it's cheap and it's you know. Louder. What's your What's your answer? I'm sticking with hydrogen fuel. I'm going to have to vote for methane here. Methane all the way. Methane too. So, well, <laughs> so for hydrogen, you're voted off the island. You're trying to smoke. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just say that? <laughs> 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 Would you ruin me?